Hey everyone, Tomias here, and welcome to another Hongkai Star Rail video. So you want to be prepared when Jing Yuan launches on the 17th. Well, I've got you covered. You can actually start prepping for him right now. It's going to be a two-part series. In the first one, we'll go over all the materials you'll need as Pride One has updated their site so we can take a look at the what we want to farm up for him to be level 70 right out of the gate. And also, in the second part of the video, probably another one, we'll talk about the gears that you can start working on. But anyhow, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do already. There is going to be a live stream where we do pull non-stop until we get E6 Kong 5 Jing Yuan. All right, so we're going all in here all in here anyhow let's take a look at our favorite uh, general jing yuan so this is the hoyo lab i talked about it's their official wiki i'll leave a link down in the description so you can take a look at the skill of course this is subject to change they even said it themselves i believe yeah subject to change on release so we'll test and see what is different and i'll give my recommendations because i did play cbt and i have, have Jin as well so we can take a look i already went over the kit in my previous video so do check it out in the tier list but how to prepare for jing yuan like I said, two parts, right? The first part is you want to have all of the mats you need to reach level 70 in terms of his um, character, traces, and skills. It's very, very important because these are guaranteed stats. Of course, it's good to farm uh, a second set of DPS gear if you're not using one on Sele already to have it ready for him. But first and foremost, make sure you get the correct stats before you worry about the gear, which I'll talk about in the second video for Jin. But for him, this is the level 1 to 70 requirement needed, okay? And you can see this is quite a lot. This is quite a lot. If we take a look at my current stash, I do have enough EXP, okay? So you can see it needs from level 1, because I'm assuming, you know, everyone's gene is going to be level 1 out of the gate. And you want to bring to level 6, uh, 70, which is where most people will be. Uh, that's equilibrium 4, I believe. Um, so you want to bring to 70 because... After level 60, the upgrade cost is immense from 60 to 70, right? So what you want to do is to bring your two DPS to level 70 first. Because right now the content is pretty easy, but the end game at the moment is Memory of Chaos. And you definitely, if you're able to bring your two DPS, one on each team, and bring them to level 70. So for my case, it's Sele, my E6 Sele, and also then Jing, okay? So let's take a look at Jin. You need 1.2 million credits. That's quite a bit. And of course, 152 Traveler's Guides. These keys, this shouldn't be a problem because everyone have a lot of the green ones. What's going to be an issue are the blue and the purple trace mats. So if you saw my previous video, okay, right now, there's a chance for you to get blue mats at uh, pre-level 50. So you can see, as of this video, I'm level 47. I will be going into level 50 this week, I believe Sunday, just because, okay, the plan is that I will be able to unlock Equilibrium 4. And Equilibrium 4, you're guaranteed at least one blue, okay, and you have a chance at purple, which means the farm for these mats, traces mats for Equilibrium form is much, much better. So right now, what I'm doing is actually farming the gear for Jin. Just making sure I have the main stat on his correct set, the lightning set, and then I'll move on to traces farm. Uh, Tracks of Destiny, uh, you probably have a bunch lying around, but make sure this week, make sure you do this one, okay? You make sure you do this one because this is weekly limited. So if you don't do this and get your five, next week, you're not going to be able to get your, um, I think, if you're higher equilibrium, you can, but uh, if you used it already, uh, next week, you might be struggling a bit. It should drop between two to three, uh, two equilibrium, uh, three and three at equilibrium form. Not 100% sure, but make sure you're farming this uh, and prepping for it because this is actually gated. The rest, stamina, obviously, you can always slowly catch up. But if you miss out on this, which is the Echoes of War, uh, you're, you're kind of capped, I believe, for uh, for the week. Uh, I'll have to double check, of course. And of course, Trackers of Destiny should have a bunch lying around. Just make sure that you have it saved up. But Jin, honestly, was extremely, extremely strong, okay? We saw how much they changed the Sele, and Sele is super good now. I wonder if Jin's gonna be the same. I mean, if he didn't get a nerf, he's already like tier zero. Tier zero, 100%. If he is gonna get a slight nerf, I think he's still tier zero, or slightly tier 0 0.1. Uh, 0.5 sorry but if he were to get above oh my goodness he is going to be absolutely busted and also you want to pull for the cone because Jin's cone is extremely strong not just for himself but pretty much the best for his class which is uh, erudition I believe 
So uh, we'll definitely have more information as um, Jin gets released. And I'm pretty sure we'll get a patch note of some sort uh, looking at the Jin. Uh, but until then, until then, farm your traces mats, farm your EXP, make sure you have enough. And don't forget, you also have Sele to bring from level 60 to 70 or your other main DPS. But if your first focus is Jin, make sure you do have enough, okay? Make sure you do have enough. And you can subtract this if um, you already have, you know, a different uh, unit at 60. For example, my Sele is a 60. So I know from Sele, for um, level 60 to 70, I'll be needing 152 minus 86. So still almost pretty much almost double so the 60 to 70 jump is quite huge and that's why we need to prep ahead if you can get to equilibrium for uh, this week fantastic if not that's fine focus on getting Jin to level 60 so make sure you farm the right mats and uh, don't forget okay anyhow it's the mind here i hope to see you guys at the live stream we'll be pulling for Jin. basically six copies of Jin, five copies of the cone and uh we're gonna hyper max Jin. all right I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye now.